The signing of Edward Mendy will not suddenly transform Chelsea into Premier League title challengers straight from the off even, though they have probably closed the gap on Manchester City and Liverpool. That's the verdict of ESPN's Gab Mercati, who thinks it will take time for Frank Lampard to discover his best new starting line, up in his ideal formation. The Senegal goalkeeper is poised to join Chelsea in the coming days in a deal that will set the Blues back an initial £18.2 million rising to a potential £25 million. Mendy, 28, will become Chelsea's seventh signing of the summer after Hakim Ziyech, Timo Werner, Ben Chilwell, Jago Silva, Malwing Sar, and Kai Havertz. And the shot. Stopper's arrival at the bridge will take their outlay to around £250 million and bolster an area of the squad in crucial need of improvement. Chelsea conceded more goals than any other top, 10 team in the Premier League last term despite qualifying for the Champions League courtesy of a fourth, placed finish. Kepa Arizabalaga had the worst save percentage of all the regular top, flight goalkeepers last season and was dropped towards the end of the campaign. The Spaniard, 25. Watched from the bench as Chelsea lost the FA Cup final to Chelsea with Frank Lampard having lost faith in the keeper. His stock has fallen considerably since a world record arrival from Athletic Bilbao for £71.6 million two years ago and Chelsea would sell him this summer if they could find a buyer. Instead, Mendy and Ariza Balaga will battle it out to be first choice in the new season, which Chelsea get underway next Monday with a Premier League showdown against Brighton. And yet while League One ace Mendy will improve Lampard's options and helps further bridge the gap to champions Liverpool and City, the English top, flight's dominant teams over the past two years, Mercati insists the Londoners still have a task on their hands getting the best out of all their new outfield players. With all due respect to Mendy, I don't think he moves the needle where all of a sudden he shows up and they're on level footing with Liverpool or even Manchester City, Mercati told ESPN FC. I think Chelsea probably have closed the gap but whenever you bring in so many players and raise so many questions. Lampard loves his tactics but we have no idea what formation has going to play, whether it's going to be 3 comma 4 comma 3, 4 comma 2 comma 3 comma 1, 4 comma 3 comma 3. And then we don't know which players are going to fit where in that formation because he has so many options. With that many options it's really hard to judge a team. I expect Chelsea to be better than they were last year but this is still a young team with the exception of Thiago Silva of course. City and Liverpool are so far ahead that you're not going to close the gap overnight unless one of those two teams, something goes badly wrong and they implode and fall apart. The Athletic claim that Mendy's move to Chelsea could be completed within a matter of days with talks having progressed well. A bid of £14 million was rejected for the keeper, who joined Ren from Stadreams for £3.5 million last summer, before reports an initial £18 million agreement was brokered. Chelsea had previously looked at the likes of Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak, Andre Onan of Ajax and Burnley's Nick Pope, named in the PFA Premier League Team of the Year on Tuesday night, as options. But former Wren keeper Petr Cech, Chelsea's technical and performance advisor, is a big fan of Mandy and he is far more affordable following a substantial summer of spending. The Blues summer business may not be complete yet with West Ham defensive midfielder Declan Rice still a target. Though, the Hammers are reluctant to sell the £70 million, rated England International.